is a magic. Génie pur dans le monde du handball. He's uh, like Michael Jordan in, in, in handball, like Messi in football. The greatest guy who ever played handball. Tu as l'impression que dans sa main, c'était pas un ballon, c'était une, c'était une boule de cristal. I am Ivan Obalic. I am now 42 years old. I am an ex-professional handball player. I started handball when I was like 15 and a half, almost 16 years old. Uh, I was uh, training basketball before that. I started then play for the youth team. I don't know, it's like third team of the, of the, of the club. Uh, we train outside, of course, because uh, at that time we didn't have a lot of holes in, in, in split. Petr Metlicic was uh, already playing for, uh, with the first team. I never see someone playing handball like him because, uh, you know, passing behind the back, uh, no look pass, uh, uh, throwing the flies. special from the beginning and we knew that uh, he would he will have a great career and everything after that it was past it was not the best championship for us but uh, i think for him it was a big school and big fast learning because in that moment he didn't have big role in the team But uh, he learned fast, and, and after that, next year in the World Cup in uh, Portugal, uh, 2003, he had a lead role, and the team was a world champion. It was unbelievable, and everybody was sh were shocked here in Croatia, and we, we went home, and the people were crazy, and at that moment we knew that we are special, that we have something that other doesn't have. Venio! Ivano! The, the biggest change was that uh, Ivano in short time wrote a lot with his playing, with his way of, of being. Uh, he became uh, a leader of the team. And I think this is the, that was the moment that uh, changed the, the, the history of Croatian handball in that moment. Playing for the Croatian national team was everything to me. I, and when I achieved that, playing for my country, I was... Uh, you cannot describe with the words what, what that means. Of course, then we had a lot of success very early. Then you realize that you're not playing only for yourself or your family, then you're playing all countries behind you. So you need to prepare and try to represent everything. And then you, you, must, you must give everything every time that you, are, that you are on the court. And that was, I think, pushing us to, to maybe even reach higher levels or achieve, uh, achieve something special. Popularity after the, when he came and the, the, when the people saw him, it, it was so high, and the people started to follow handball lots of a lot, especially in Croatia, but outside of course, or other. We may come to other countries. The people were crazy when he, when they saw him. He put down all the stereotypes about uh, about how some player needs to look or, or needs to be or needs to move or, or to do the things. Yes, yeah, so I moved to Portland, San Antonio. The first day I received a, a book with a lot of plays inside. So I came home and I uh, look at the book. Too many informations for one day, so I took the book and I threw it in the, in the trash. Yes, 
So after the two gold medals, we started winning silver. <laughs> At that time it was difficult. At that time I was very angry and unhappy, but today I'm proud because I know I gave everything and it wasn't meant to be. The other team was better and that's it. final, then we, we didn't play so good. Maybe also because of French team <laughs> from the other side. It was a year at the beginning of their domination and the beginning of our coming almost every time second behind them. La finale, le rêve. You have to be sad, of course, but also you have, we have to know that in front of us was maybe the best uh, generation of uh, French handball in a history. I'm proud of, uh, of every moment that I spend on the handball court. I really enjoy my whole career. I, I wanted to be a professional handball player since the first day and, and I achieved that goal and it lasts for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> 